Welcome to my channel, Tuesday's Fun Finds. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. My daughter loves volleyball, my husband loves to fish, and I love to thrift. I try to turn my fun finds into extra cash. This is by shopping at thrift stores, yard sales, and antique malls. I also buy thrift boxes from places like shopgoodwill.com and ThreadUp. If you like thrifting as much as I do, stick around. Watch my unboxings and my hauls. You never know, you may even find a good deal. Hi everybody, happy Valentine's Day part two. Uh, today's part two sale, yesterday was part one, so make sure you go check that one out if you'd like. And um, let's get started. First up is a vintage sweatshirt that has a beautiful like quilted heart on the corner or on the chest. It's a cream color and it has like a striped, um, let's see, gray, gray and cream striped on the collar along with on the sleeves, which I thought was very nice. Um, it kind of gathers at the bottom and the brand is Belvachine. It's an, an adult, extra large, made in the USA. Real nice sweatshirt. Okay, and the sweatshirt is 15. If anyone's interested in that. Next up is, and I'm not going to pronounce, try to pronounce the name because I always murder it. Um, but these guys, the, um, I see a lots of these in like the Christmas tree prints different patterns but never hearts and I picked this up at the antique mall a few weeks ago so that was fun it's kind of got like a green dots almost got like a green hue to them and then the cream hearts excellent condition real nice fine and I will be asking $12 for that cup for the mug Next up is a Westmoreland frost, Frosted Glass In Flight, I think is what it's called. I'm sorry, hold on. Bird In Flight, Westmoreland. And it's hand painted with the roses. And then it's even initialed by So let's see here. We will be asking 15. And again, shipping is based off of the weight of the item and where we're sending it to, which would be via zip code. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing the items. Um, let's see here. We have a set of Elizabeth Taylor miniatures. I don't wear Elizabeth Taylor, um, but this one has the diamond, the rhinestone in there is a, di is a clear diamond. This one is Sapphire. And this one I believe is Emerald. Emerald. And then this one is Ruby. And those are all miniature sizes, and we'll be asking $10 for the set of four. Okay, next up is a vintage Anchor Hawking Ruby Red, um, let's see here, powder dish. Got a clear bottom and a ruby red top.
minimal scratches. There is one small chip on the interior of the lid. And then it goes down onto the clear base. And I will be asking, um, let's see here, 18 for that beautiful piece. Next up is a Victorian milk glass vanity dish. I'm not exactly sure what would have gone into this beautiful thing, but it's rectangular in shape. Um, this is, from what I understand, this is real milk glass because it's got the ring of fire. I don't know if you can see where, if you're holding it up into the light, it looks really light up here, almost like a, um, like a ring of fire. Now there are some um, minor flea bites from it hitting from the lid hitting the, the dish, but here's the top. And again, I don't know if you can see this ring of fire here in the light or not. Okay. Beautiful, stunning piece. And we are going to be asking 21 for that beautiful, beautiful dish. All right, we do have a base today and this is a Bart Bartlett Collins base. So it's almost like a reverse painted kind of, um, where the, the white is painted on the inside and then on the outside is hand-painted roses. Let me go get a measurement for that. And this measures measures nine inches and we'll be asking twelve dollars adorable all right next up is a cute little um cupie cupie ornament <laughs> oh shoot it's actually a bell oh almost oh gosh darn But I thought she was too cute with her little rose dress. <laughs> Not to have her be part of the show. <laughs> Cupie babies, I guess, were at one point in time um, really popular. Um, I don't ever remember having any as a kid, but she's got beautiful blue eyes. Um, and then we'll be asking $5 for her if anyone's interested. Next up are six vintage Valentines. There's this one. Is it, am I showing it okay? And then this one. The third one is this one. This one's cute. This one's actually a Hallmark. Let 
so it's cute too. And then lastly, this one's a Hallmark one too. So I thought those were super fun. These Valentines um, will be asking $12 for the six of them. All right, moving on to jewelry. We have these pair of C Stein, C period S T E I N. These are gold tone and black. And the black um, hearts actually have a little bit of like a gold um, speckle in them. If you're interested in those, we will do $5 for those. Next up, this one's gonna be a little difficult to see, but this is a vintage pendant for sure. This pendant is actually a 14K gold filled vintage pendant, it says I love you. I remember those when I was younger. <laughs> like the oh. two-toned or the several, um, what do I want to say? Like the rose gold, like the, because it has kind of like a rosy color and then a gold color. I guess those two-toned or three-toned colored pendants were popular when I was younger. Um, let's see here. We will do $5 for that pendant. Very thin, very dainty. Um, $5. Okay, next up is this gorgeous vintage, in Ster vintage sterling and crystal bead pendant. So I did test it. And it is sterling. The beads are crystals, and they're formed into this gorgeous pendant. I love how they're they're blue. Um, and we'll be asking twenty dollars for that piece. Beautiful, I love that piece. Okay, next up is a Premier Designs. This is called Scarlet Necklace. And actually, I'll take it out of the box, but it comes with the box. It's original receipt, never been worn. I believe the original price of that piece was $49. Should probably measure that. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I have to put the measurement on the screen. But it's called the Scarlet. Gorgeous necklace. Absolutely love it. And we'll do 18. Show them how big it is. It's long. Okay. Real long, long piece, but gorgeous. I love it. I think this would be awesome for Valentine's Day. You can even use this for Christmas. Nice, another great versatile piece. You could you could put this on with a light colored shirt, pink colored shirt, black like I have on, green. Mm. Okay, did I give you a price? I don't remember. Uh, so that would be 18. Next up is this heart um, stone pendant with necklace that I believe is marked Korea.
And I actually, I put it on there, um, shortened it up so that it would be nice to, to look at. Does it say Korea, I think, on I the... Get it. That's okay. Yeah, it says Korea. Okay, it says Korea. Um, I'll have to put the measurement of the... You're fine, I already showed oh. you. Um, but if you're interested in that item, $5. Second to last item for today is this uh, gold vermeil heart key pendant, necklace and pendant. Love it. Adorable. Tested positive for silver. got a lobster claw clasp and if you're interested in that that'll be 15 Okay, and then our last item for today is this absolutely beautiful red bucket coach purse. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The straps are in awesome condition. It's got the, you pull it to loosen it. And I have it stuffed. So we'll unstuff it so that I can show you the beautiful creed. The inside is absolutely gorgeous. The inside is immaculate. Is that showing it? Okay, here's the bottom. All the corners look real good. So the outside of it has like more of a suede and then all of the trim along with um, the straps have the, the leather. I hope that just made sense. Um, but I'm going to be asking $75 for this gorgeous red bucket purse. I love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again today for part two. Happy Valentine's Day. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. If you're interested in anything from today's video, please email me at TuesdaysFunFinds at gmail.com. Before you go, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please also like, drop a comment, and click the notification bell. Be sure to select all, that way you're notified when I post my next video. All of this helps my channel grow. As always, thank you, and we'll see you soon.